What, sorry? Is that Buckfast? Buck no, that's water. You've probably heard of it. <laughs> Who's the most famous person I've ever met? Well, I, I once met her. Uh, the, um, well, it's quite an impressive one. I don't want to show off, but you know, you know, you know, no, you know how villages have got idiots, yeah? <laughs> I met the idiot for the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he's, uh... <laughs> Well, that brings me very neatly onto the next bit of material. Who here's got kids? Yeah. 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 Like, kind of, was that? <laughs> what, sorry? All right, Jimmy. What? What? <laughs> what was that? You chipped in with something. Go on, Jimmy. You said go on, Jimmy. Yes. All right. Ironically, slowing things down. <laughs> you often do that. Just stop people in the street and go on with you. On with your day. Really. <laughs> oh, I was just. I just stopped you. Just tell you to continue. <laughs> Good. Well, that's, that's pretty much the first half of my show, ladies and gentlemen. But it's mainly me talking in the first half. Any questions so far? Anything else you'd like to know? Jimmy! Yes. Oh, I'm going to presume all the questions are for me. <laughs> if, that's... if I'm not being too starry and arrogant. <laughs> Although there's something about my name in this town. <laughs> Jimmy! Just sounds right. <laughs> Go on, what was the question? Yes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Wittgenstein's theorems. <laughs> um, you'd suck off his mum. <laughs> He's done you. He has done you. I, I, I'm not from Perth, so I may never have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You sound like you come from a very broken home. I'm not suggesting you fucked your mum, but only because you wouldn't want to two-time your sister. <laughs> um, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I do for a living. I think of little jokes in my head, and then I tell them to you so that you'll like me. <laughs> Sounds a bit tragic when I say, <laughs> what was that? It's not working. <laughs> well, you can fuck off. <laughs> this is as good as it ever fucking goes. <laughs> I don't come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out of your mouth, do I? <laughs> Where are you? It's not working, man. Give us a wave. What do you do, sir? Telecoms. You, you do telecoms. <laughs> what, what do you do? Do you? I do you. I do you, <laughs> I do you telephone. <laughs> what, sorry? You build them in their work. Ironically, you work in communications and can hardly... <laughs> ..can hardly string a fucking sentence together. <laughs> Whenever my girlfriend says, ''Fucking men'', I always think, ''Yeah, that is the alternative.'' <laughs> oh, what, sorry? Tosser. Tosser. Right. <laughs> just around, just tosser. Yeah, you know you're in fucking Glasgow, don't you, where <laughs> someone pays you twenty two fifty to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> Fair enough, fill your boots. Um, <laughs> the most annoying thing my sister does is that show Chatty Man. That's the most annoying heckle that I get at gigs. I like it when people join in, I like a bit of a heckle and a bit of fun, but the most annoying one I get is when I've set up a joke, just about to do the punchline, and someone goes, it's always, invariably it's the same thing, it's always, where's Alan? Where's Alan? It's not my, like, bet noir, it's just a bit annoying. Where's Alan? Where's Alan? <laughs> He's at your house fucking your dad. <laughs> I think we all knew, including him, I think we all knew that was a trap. I could feel you as one going, hold, hold, <laughs> hold. 
And then one brave soul over there said, no. <laughs> I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> or rather, your dad is. <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? <laughs> I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. A sexual predator. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries, in the same way as why you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. <laughs> I like big, thick logs. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How big's my cock? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure whether your mother would be comfortable discussing it, but it's... <laughs> Truth be told, it's quite small, but it smells like a big one. <laughs> what, sorry? Where's the weirdest place I've had sex? His mum's bum. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, it was his dad's. <laughs> Any other questions, thoughts? Why do I look like Hitler? Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Sorry? Who? <laughs> Sex is always better in hotels. Have you noticed that, ladies and gentlemen? Sex is always better in hotels. Yeah. Why is that? Is it because it's with a hooker? Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to what? Sorry? Because you don't have to clean the sheets. <laughs> How are you fucking her? <laughs> that there's a whole... Maybe later, Jimmy. Maybe later. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> a little bit of the bum sex going on. <laughs> I always think you know you're doing something bad sexually. Bad in a good way. When you think, we better put a towel down before that happens. <laughs> you think you always know we're doing something a bit experimental. Yeah, we better just cover that first, cos... <laughs> yeah, I've never done this before, it could end badly. <laughs> I don't even know if you're going to make it through, but good luck, love. <laughs> Is anyone in from around the country? You're from London, where are you from? <laughs> where, where are you from, sir? Doncaster. You're from Doncaster, and you're down here just for the lights. <laughs> You'll be back and telling people, oh, I was inside. It was like a cave. <laughs> but it was like daytime at night. <laughs> Couldn't make head and a tail. <laughs> Candles? <laughs> yes, they're like candles. <laughs> well done, you. It's lovely to have you. Now, mark off back. <laughs> New Zealand. New Zealand? How's it going over there? Is it all right? Yeah, it's not bad. You still having that problem with Saruman and his orc army? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, did you just go hello at the end? Where are you from, madam? Dartford. Dartford? You sound like a man. <laughs> Where are you from, madam? Dartford. <laughs> hello. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's like a horrible racist joke from the 70s. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello to you. What, sorry? I'm from Seven You're from Seven Oaks, but you said hello. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't you. Why are you talking then? <laughs> I don't understand. Who said that? Not me. I'm from Seven Oaks. <laughs> what do you do, madam? I'm a student. You're a student, and what are you studying? Drama. Drama? <laughs> really? <laughs> You know, I always say the same thing. Whenever I meet a drama student, an aspiring actress or an actor, I always say the same thing to any aspiring actor or an actress I meet. I always say, I'll have a coffee, please. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it, because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. P probably, probably it filters through some sort of advert that you watched before you watched the video, maybe? Or maybe you subscribed? Anyway, thanks for watching it, and somehow that benefits me. 
and hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck.